How's it going, everyone? Maximilian here, and uh, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Uh, for a lot of you guys that have been watching my channel um, and following the tips that I give and the strategies that I use on each map and the killstreak loadouts, stuff like that, uh, there's certain things to using higher end kill streaks that can be very beneficial. Uh, besides it being risky and the fact that you know it's difficult to get kill streaks and you're going to be getting them a lot less frequently than others, there's there's some things besides just the sheer kill amount that they can be good for. And on this map, which is resistance, there's a lot of places that can be really good for higher end kill streaks, and a lot of places that can really suck. Uh, if the enemy team is in the middle of the map. Or in the side pocket of the map where there's that little like shop, no good. Uh, it's almost they're almost useless at that point. But in some situations, resistance can be ridiculously dirty. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is that on this game, I go 85 and 6 as a result of this trick that I do with the Osprey Gunner and having Hardline Pro. So of course, as we all know, running something like Hardline Pro gives you the ability to have two assists equal one kill point towards your point streak slash kill streak. Um, what I'm running is the Predator, the uh, Reaper into the Osprey Gunner. And in, if you happen to get better with the Reaper, it becomes a lot easier to get an Osprey Gunner. Um, if you get shot down immediately, there's not much you can do about that. What just helps is your accuracy of firing the missiles and finding a target. If you can, if you can get like a 75 to 90 percent accuracy rating with your Reaper and hit that many people uh, with each one of the rockets, if not getting a few double or triple kills, then it is going to be very easy to get a um, to get an Osprey Gunner. And my conversion rate for this is about like 50 percent. Um, every other Reaper will get me an Osprey Gunner. But in this situation, what happens is during the Osprey Gunner's run, uh, it, it's an insane run, by the way, because no one tries to shoot me down until a little bit later, uh, the Osprey Gunner goes on an absolute tear. Um, and when people respawn in this game, like I've mentioned before, you spawn with respawn armor. You cannot do anything, or I'm sorry, you cannot be uh, killed for a good, like, 5 to 10 seconds if you just respawn in Modern Warfare 3 by, via explosions or killstreaks of any kind. Um, so what's going to happen here is I'm going to start hosing down and I'm going to see the parts where they're going to be respawning. Even though their, you know, red box reticle does not show up on the Osprey Gunner's radar, I see them moving and I just shoot them. Which means that the enemies that get killed via opponents, like people running around and uh, my teammates, those count as assists. Um, every time I get an assist and it gets, it gets me a kill, or I'm sorry, Every time I get two assists that give me a point towards a kill, that still happens. Even though my kill streak is still up in the air and I'm manning the thing, when I'm done with my Osprey Gunner, every time I got two assists and somebody else on my team killed that person that I shot once with my uh, my Osprey Gunner while he was in, you know, either running around and I didn't kill him or he respawned and I touched him barely, those assists still count. So what happens in this situation, I pop back out from the laptop of using the Osprey Gunner and if you notice, I have already uh, a few points lined up in my kill streak already. And right as I right as I get up, I get another one because when assist count towards, and I get my predator. Uh, as soon as it happens, my predator goes on a freaking tear and kills like four or five people because it, my osprey gunner hosed down the map so much that all of a sudden I now have another reaper. And here is what I call the osprey gunner loop. Um, if you're able to do something like this where the first Osprey Gunner goes on a tear, that means that you have the ability to uh, find a part, part of the map where the team is respawning, and when you set your second Predator down, if you had enough assists, they're going to be trying to get another spot on the map because there's a good chance that your Osprey Gunner prevented them from capping a flag or doing something like that. This works especially well in Domination because they're going to be trying to cap one flag, and the whole team will be on it just like this has happened. Um, this has happened a few to a few of my times before, so w which is why I like calling it the the Osprey Gunner loop. And if the uh, Reaper can get enough kills, then all of a sudden, whap, you have another Osprey Gunner. Now, of course, <laughs> the second Osprey Gunner doesn't do nearly as good as the first one. Uh, they definitely learned their lesson because the first Osprey Gunner goes on a tear. But what the uh, the point of this video isn't the fact that this was a good game. Uh, it, it was an exceptional game, and it did really well, but you have to get a little lucky in some situations. You have to hope that they don't immediately shoot down your Reaper. They don't immediately attack your Osprey Gunner. Uh, so you have the chance to set up something like this. But 
when you play game modes like Ground War, uh, there's a lot less coordination going on between players, and I play solo a lot on Ground War because all my friends hate Ground War. And I hated it at first too, but now I've actually kind of warmed up to it and I like it a lot. But later on I'm gonna break down the weapon I'm using on this map, which is the G36. Um, I found a couple of things that make the G36 really good. Uh, sadly it's not one of the best silenced weapons, but we're gonna get into some details about that when I fully break down the G36 and a weapon breakdown coming very soon. So hopefully the tip was in the hip. The tip was helpful for you guys that run higher end kill streaks. Uh, hopefully it helps you get uh, a couple more higher end kill streaks fairly easy um, as a result of the new system of Modern Warfare 3. Uh, you couldn't do stuff like this in Modern Warfare 2 just because of how uh, Modern Warfare 3 is designed now, and you can get more kill streaks after you've gotten your kill streak. So. Hopefully you guys found some of the information useful. Uh, I appreciate any feedback below, and if this ends up working for you guys, or if you have a good experience using it, I really like reading those comments that, um, that a little bit of the work I do here and the commentary I provide is actually helping people out. It does mean a lot to me. But, as always, thank you very much for watching. This has been Maximilian, signing out.